Fly Live. I'm sure you need no reminder that Father's Day is coming up on Sunday, and I'm sure that you have great plans in store to make your dad feel extra special. But this morning, you are in the presence of excellence, as I have said time and again, because Steve Ray of Owl's Nest Barbecue over in Ottawa joins us this morning. He sent me a text a couple of days ago and said, Julie, I want to come on and talk about the great barbecue offerings I have and the great gift ideas I have. So good to see you this morning, Steve. Hey, Jill, hey, welcome to the research and development <laughs> facility of Al's Nest Barbecue with my good friend, Jeff Maxwell. We're going to go over some uh, pretty neat Father's Day gifts for you, but we're going to do something a little bit uh, extra for you. And, and just for your, you and your audience, Julie, we're going to show an actual prep of a protein that all the dads out there may want to watch or all the moms and the wives may want to watch to give them even more ideas on what to give uh, your special, your father or your special friend this Sunday can, on Father's Day. Okay, Jeff's can, gonna run over. Jeff's gonna run over to our prep table, but, and he's gonna get he's gonna get set up and get ready. Okay, but and before. Go ahead, Steve, yeah. I, I just want to, I want to point out something real quickly. I know that Jeff has already run over there, but, but here's the thing. I know you kind of jokingly said, welcome to the research and development headquarters, but whatever you do, Steve, you dive in. So, I mean, this is your passion. You're doing this at home in your driveway. You're always developing new techniques and things, including the cameras that we're going to see. I mean, this is a huge investment <laughs> that you have to make sure that you're bringing the best to people. Well, you know, it started out, Julie, as a hobby, and uh, it's, it's grown into something, and uh, people would always come into the service station when we were working, and they would want to talk about barbecue. And, of course, after our, our big fire a couple years ago when we remodeled, I said, I'm just going to turn that one, the room that was destroyed, into a, uh, a barbecue store. And uh, it's worked out great. People people love it. And, uh, you know, where else in Old War, or where else in Chattanooga can you go and buy tires in barbecue rub and sauce at the same time. <laughs> I, I may be on the cutting edge, who knows? I think so. It's like, it's as close to Mayberry as you're going to get. So <laughs> Exactly right. I cut exactly you off. I'm right. sorry. Go ahead, though, and talk about what Jeff's going to do. And, and Jeff, Jeff's going to. He's going to prep a pork butt here in just a minute, but not yet. Not yet. And um, he, he, already, he started before me. Jeff's kind of one of those, you know, let's, let's get it going. But we, we want to go over a few gifts with you first. Uh, for your father, you know, the only thing worse – than having a father that's a golfer is having a father that's an outdoor live fire cooker because <laughs> there's so many gizmos and products and things that you can buy for them out there now that it gets confusing. So I kind of want to uh, maybe ease your mind a little bit. The first item that I have is just get them a plain bottle of barbecue rub. The, we have a great selection of these rubs here at the Owl's Nest Barbecue Supply Store. Uh, they're, they're only $9.95, Julie. We have all sorts of different seasonings, all sorts of different flavors. Uh, they're very easy to use. We have charts that show you which, which seasoning goes with which protein, and it kind of takes the guesswork mm. out of what you're doing, you know, when you're, when you're trying to prep uh, any of the meat that you're, you're going to be putting on the grill. Another good gift item for your dad is a pair if he's if he's a, a live fire guy is a pair of hot gloves these gloves are specially formulated they've got these um, raised little knoblets on them that make holding the pans so they won't slip and if you can see inside there they are super insulated yeah where you can you can pick up a a 500 degree pan and not even feel it. I mean, not feel it one little bit. Wow. Uh, they're very handy to have, especially for you guys and women that, that run pits that where you have to throw wood and you have to move wood and you have to open those big doors, you know, that, um, you know, when you have to throw a log in there, you might have to move something around. These are great for that. It's a safety thing. And uh, we sell a lot of those. They're only $14.95. Uh, another thing is this. This is, this is probably one of the more important things a, a person – that cooks outdoors could have and that's a, a an instant read thermometer and the way this thermo the thermometer works is you simply pull out the, the probe and you insert it in the meat julie and it instantly reads within two seconds the temperature of the meat that you're that you're checking so when you open the the lid 
you know, a lot of times with those older type of um, thermometers, you got to wait for it to come up, and you're mm-hmm. letting all the heat escape out of your grill. Well, with with uh, an instant read thermometer, uh, you can you can use it. You know, have your grill up, and literally in five seconds, you can pull the pull the top off the grill, check the meat, and then to close the top with very very little heat, uh, you know, escaping. Yeah. And it's only twenty dollars. Wow. 20 bucks and you so, could use that inside too right Steve if you want oh absolutely absolutely I, use, I keep one inside and outside uh, at my house because you know when you're cooking stuff at home um, I'm, you know, I'm one of those guys that every time I cook something I just like to see how hot it is <laughs> and um, and it, you know, it works great for that another item have you ever been have you ever been to a uh, steakhouse and they bring out the steak Julie and it's got those stripes on it yeah you know, maybe diagonal yeah, that and is you so wonder, have, have you ever wondered how they do that? Well, this is how they do it right here. They're using a, a product called grill grates. And what's neat is these things are made just down the street in Cartersville. And you put them on your grill. They're made of aluminum. You put them on the grill. And can you see how high they sit? Yeah. When you put them on your grill, they get, they get super hot. They'll actually get hotter than the, than the grates on your grill. And the way it's made with these pass-through holes, it cuts down on the flare-up when you're cooking steaks, and it puts those flavor stripes on there. And another neat thing it even comes with, you say, you look at those big grates and you think, well, how in the world is a spatula gonna, you know, turn the meat over, or how am I gonna, you know, flip it? It comes with its own special spatula. Wow. That fits, it fits right inside right inside the grill grates. So you can just simply slide it in, pick it up, and turn it over. That is so cool. And that's made in Cartersville. Yeah, and it's only $59. So then you've got a, you've got a present uh, $9.95, $14.95, and $59.95. Well, I'm, I'm sure that's way in anybody's budget. I would, you know, I would hope my family would think I would be worth at least $60 <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> Now, now, you know my family, Julie, and they may have differing opinions sometimes. <laughs> I think they would all... think most of the time. They, but they, now, they might balk uh-huh. at 61. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Might be the cutoff right there. <laughs> now, what are we going to do? We're going to go over here to Jeff, and Jeff is going to show you an item we've got. Let me switch right over here to Jeff here. Jeff has got this item there. It's a um, – well, Jeff, go ahead and explain that to him. So, Julie, what I have here is I have a, an injector um, for your proteins. It basically works like a caulk gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our butcher barbecue pork injection. Okay, I'm going to shake that up for you. And then I have a colander here that I've we've put in water. You can add in there any kind of juice you like. A, you know, your acidy type of juices work really well with an injection, especially a pork butt. So, you know, some people will put pineapple. Some people will put apple, um, you know, peach, any one of those kind of products. <clears throat> I'm going to mix them together, shake it up really good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take our injector and I'm going to suck some of that juice up into the the injector and then I'm going to inject it into the pork butt. Now what I want to do is I want to try to, as I'm injecting it, I want to go about every two inches and when I inject I want to be pulling out of the meat to make sure that I'm getting the injection all the way throughout the butt and if you notice you can see that plump up a little bit yeah what that's doing is it's taking that juice and then injection and it's gonna uh, keep that butt moist throughout the cook so that when you get done with it you're not gonna get that dry piece of meat now I know Jeff that in your world you would put this I'm guessing into a smoker or something but for people I often will do a barbecue at my house, but I'll just use my crock pot. Can you use this same technique in a crock pot? Absolutely. Anything you can do on a grill or anything you can do in an oven, you can do in the other uh, vessel. Okay. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to look for temperature. You know, there's different varying opinions on that, and Steve and I both go by the opinion of, you know, you cook it till it's done. But typically that temperature on a pork pot is going to be oh, 210 degrees. 205 somewhere in that range and if you julie were to say cook a potato mm-hmm. 
-hmm. and you put that uh, thermo pen in there that Steve showed you from Butcher Barbecue, you're going to find that when that per potato is perfectly done, it's at 210. Really? That's kind of the it's, magic number. It is kind of a magic number for all your foods for the most part. Um, you know, when you're, your linear cuts of meat, it's a little bit different, but, you know, pork butt, uh, potatoes, broccoli, if you were to thermo pen those, you're going to see that that's going to oh. be about your magic number on almost everything. I actually learned that from Steve, something I didn't know before. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rub. This one's a savory pecan seasoning for butcher barbecue. Um, some people layer it with a couple different rubs. Today we're just going to use this, this pecan because it works really, really well with a pork butt. I'm going to give it a nice general, uh, generous layer on there. And I want to make sure I hit all sides of the butt. I want to take an, it's called a rub because you rub it in. Now, the only true way you're going to get flavor inside the meat is that injection process that we did in the beginning. This is going to help you with the bark and give you that nice barky look to it and color. Just a nice general good coating on it. Now, there's some debate, Julian, you know, whether you cook it fat side down or fat side up. I really don't think there's a difference. Some people would argue with me, but. So now when you get through doing that, we're going to have to wrap it up here in a minute, uh, Jeff, but when you're through doing all that, then is it ready to go or do you need to let it sit for a little while? No, it's, it's ready to go. You can let it sit for a little bit. What I like to do is get my pork butt to come to a little bit about room temperature, a little bit more than that. Okay. I think it just cooks better that way. So I know Good that you and Steve were having to share a microphone. I don't know if, if he can talk to me or if you want to do the answering for him. But for people who've been watching you all this morning and they're liking what they see and they want to come get some of these Father's Day ideas, uh, what are the hours there at Midnight Oil? How can they come shop? Let me switch over to Steve. <laughs> we're passing the mic. You've heard of passing the buck. <laughs> this is passing the mic. We, we've got it, Jill. We're open. The, the uh, barbecue store is open every day from 8 o'clock until 5 o'clock, and that mirrors the same hours of the service station. And on Saturdays, we're also here from 8 until 4. Okay. So uh, obviously Friday and Saturdays are pretty big days at the service station and here at the uh, barbecue store. But um, we're, we're here, you know, I get here at 6.30, and believe it or not, uh, people come in at, at 7 o'clock and buy things in, in the barbecue store, and that's fine too. <laughs> you know, we've got, a, we've got a great line of Green Mountain Grills now. Um, if you really want to impress your father, come out and look at those things. It's a, it's just a, it's a, it's a great little place to get a little bit of knowledge, and uh, we've got we've got the stuff that'll uh, help make your cook successful on Father's Day. And it might be the only service station in town too that has flowers blooming out front. They've got it all for you there. Absolutely. Owl's Nest Barbecue and Midnight Oil. Steve, good to see you. I hope that you get the Father's Day gift you're wanting. I think you're worth sixty dollars times ten. I appreciate that, Julie. <laughs> Talk to you soon. You bet. Bye-bye. We're back with more 3 Plus You. He's a one of a kind. Back right after this. As we continue moving forward together, count on Channel 3 Eyewitness News to keep you informed. Our promise to give you the facts as our lives continue to change during our newscasts, on our mobile apps, and through our streaming apps. It's our commitment to coverage you can count on. I rode my first motorcycle when I was seven years old.